Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I'm here with the Behringer Wing and I am wanting to show you my next most common question on the Behringer Wing, which is how to get a stereo in-ear setup on this board. So let's go ahead and dive in. First thing that we're going to do is go and find our mix bus that we want to use for this in-ear setup, which I'm going to use my mix bus one. And I'm going to want to label this first, set it up as a pre-fader mix, and then route it to my output that I want. So let's go ahead and dive in and do that. I'm going to select and then press home, give this an icon and a name. And then I'm then going to go to the next tab down, set this in a pre-fader configuration, and make sure that it is set up as a stereo output. The next thing I'll want to do is actually route this to a physical output on the back of the board. And today I'm going to have this in-ear setup go through my aux outs on the TRS outputs on one and two. So let's go ahead and route that. To do that, let's go to the routing section and we will select our aux outs and go click on R1 here. We need to unlock the routing section and then go and find our source group of bus and then select one and then go to two here and select one right. And then once we've done that, we go ahead and lock. So now I have this mix bus routed and labeled and set up as a prefader configuration. So now I'm going to turn this up to unity gain and then now let's go ahead and mix some things into this. Now the easiest way of actually mixing channels into this in-ear is by using the button called Sends on Fader. And to do this, I'm going to select my in-ear one and then press Sends on Fader. And the left-hand side of the board is going to show you that all of these channels are muted currently into this in-ear and all of them are also turned down. We can go and see that on all of the channels. And so now I'm wanting to go and unmute his vocal microphone and give him a little bit of a mix. So I'm going to unmute Danny's vocal, turn him up to zero, and then maybe he wants to have some tracks added in and some bass guitar and keys and some drums. Now I can additionally route using sends on fader on the left hand side of the board by selecting a channel. So if I went and selected Danny's vocal here, we would see that he is up at unity here and say I had an in-ear two that was my next vocalist and they wanted to hear a little bit of Danny, I could do that in two ways. I could either select my mix bus two and turn up Danny here, or I could go ahead and select Danny's vocal channel and then unmute and turn him up in that second monitor. Now one very handy thing to note is when you're using in-ear monitors, sometimes you want to have slightly different sounding mixes coming from these going to the monitors than what you're using on your main buses. And the Behringer Wing has added an EQ feature onto the mix bus sends. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at that. I'm going to select my vocal channel and go to home and then we can tab down all the way to the bottom here and we can see that there is a pre-fader for EQ and what I can do is I can go and change the EQ on this microphone if I wanted to and then turn this on. Now what this will do is this will send out a EQ'd channel to all of these mix buses. Now this does apply it to all of the mix buses, so do be careful with the amount of EQ that you're applying. Now also to note on this screen is I can change the tap point of where I want these mix buses pulling off for the specific channel. So if I was wanting to have compression in on his in-ear, which I wouldn't suggest, but you can go ahead and select that by going and tapping up here and selecting a different tap point. Now, because this is a stereo in-ear setup, what if we wanted to pan something? Well, let's go ahead and pan the overheads. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the overheads and I'm going to navigate myself to this screen right here and then just tap right here where this pan is. I can change the pan as well as the stereo spread and I can even reverse the stereo spread. And I can do this on individual buses one by one. 
One additional thing to note is with this Enier coming off of my Mixbus 1, I have all of the Mixbus channel processing that I want to use at my disposal. So if this musician wanted a little bit of compression on his ears, I could simply go and add that. Or if he wanted a little bit different EQ tailoring, I could also add that. That wraps up this video about how to set up an in-ear stereo monitor on the Behringer Wing. My next video is going to be talking about how to get your talkback microphone set up so that you can actually talk to your band. Stay tuned!